Okay, let's do a quick discussion on resiliency. As you guys may already know, when you work with the network, there can be network failures. If the network failure is a transient failure, we can use resiliency features to deal with those failures. If we go back to our code, we look at, if we take a look at the HTTP client, so this is our HTTP client, so there are several things we can do to deal with network failures. Things like timeout, retry, circuit breaker, side load balancing, stuff like that. So in this case, let's quickly see how we can set the timeout and retry. So here you can just timeout and give the value you want. So everything is in seconds. So you can just give 30 to say 30 seconds. So in this case, client will time out if the response is not returned within 30 seconds. Similarly, if you want, you can also add retry configure as well. So under retry config, there are several things you can configure. First thing is the interval. You can say you need to retry every two seconds. And then you can set the count. That is to say how many times you actually want to retry. Similarly, there are several other things as well, like back of factor. And then you have max wait interval. So those things you can configure as needed. The other thing is these are good candidates for configurable variables because this configuration might vary based on the environment. What you can do is you can just create a configurable variable. It retry config and let's say retry config and do like this. If you guys remember, if you do like this, you have to provide the configuration using one of the options supported by configurable feature. And then what you can do here is you can just simply do this as we did in the earlier session. Okay, so that's about timeout and retry. So if you go to Ballerina website, and go to Ballerina by examples. Here you can see there are a bunch of uh, examples related to HTTP client resiliency. So let me search for resiliency. Okay, so here you can see there are a bunch of examples, one on timeout and the other on retry. So if you go there, you can see a description on each configuration. So similarly, you can configure circuit breaker as well. There are a lot of configuration you can do on the circuit breaker. I'm not going to go into details. And of course, you can do client-side load balancing and payload. 